Hi, this is Sandy Carroll from the Berkshire County Board of Realtors, and I'm going to share with you how to run a flex MLS absorption rate report uh, for any individual city, town, or customer or client that you might have. If at the end of the video you have any questions, please call the office at 442-8049, and any of the staff members would be happy to help. So the first place we'll start is right at the Flex MLS homepage, the dashboard. If you go to statistics and then to my market, you'll see some reports dynamically generate based on what was saved last. You'll see in this drop down, kind of in the center of the screen, there's some options. If yours isn't on inventory, you should change it to inventory. That's where we're going to get the data that we need for this one tutorial. And you'll see here that there's a report that's dynamically generated. Um, what I'd like to do is customize this report for a specific town before we go any further. In the right hand, you'll see there's a customize option. Here you can choose to do a full search. A save search is helpful if you're doing this report for a specific client. Right now I'll go to full search. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you how to create this for one individual city or town. I'll pick Adams Mass, first in the list. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can select more criteria if you wish to. Right now I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to say for Adams, I would like to know what the absorption rate is. To select dates and view results, we'll click there. And you'll see that you can choose a two year span of dates uh, to, to be able to compare. The last date is always going to be the last full month. I'm running this report on September 30th, so August is the last full month that we have in the system. So if I click search, this report is going to dynamically generate just specifically for the city of Adams or the town of Adams. Let me explain a few things about the report. On the left hand side, it indicates the um, inventory rate. It's basically the number of months of inventory. And you can see from the large blue boxes how that has changed over the course of the last two years. Right now, if I hover my mouse over this blue box, you can see the months of inventory for August of 2014 is 9.8. And you can also see that reflected in the data below. There are some other helpful little um, guidelines to help you understand the market as well. The top one are the number of active listings in any given month. And so through this, you can kind of see the trends of where the listings have been going. In um, February, March, obviously it was at the low point of active listings, 34 in February. Uh, Adams had 34 again in March. And then you see it start to climb. And now it's starting to decrease again. In the brown color, you can see the number of new listings as it relates, and then in black, you can see the number of sold listings. And basically, this just gives you an idea of what is happening in that marketplace. If you scroll below, you can also see this in numerical values. Some people prefer to actually look at hard data as opposed to graphics, and you have a little bit of both here. It gives you the number of active listings per month, the number of new listings, the number of sold, and then how that equates into the number of inventory. So right now, Adams is actually doing fairly well as far as their number of inventories. What you can do then is you can email this to a client, you can print it out, you can do all of the same functionality uh, within this search. And we think that this is a pretty nifty way to get a quick glimpse of what the market is doing. Thank you.